What's up YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Um, with video for the first Diecast Misfits build-off. Um, yeah, this was an awesome uh, build. Took me a long time. A lot of work on this build. Um, probably my most labor-intensive build so far. But I want to try and make something special for the first um, build of our group. So, <clears throat> I'll show you what I did in a few minutes. I'll show a couple um, cars that were involved in it. Um, so, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, subscribe up to the Diecast Misfits um, YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure that's where our recap pictures will be posted. I'm pretty sure. And then just go to all the guys' videos. That'll be posted tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm doing this tonight, the night before. We're having thunderstorms here. The power keeps going off and on, so hopefully I can get this video in. All right. So let's bring this camera down a little bit. So I took that and that for the two main cars. Um, I can't take credit for the idea. The idea I got off of Jay Carter YouTube channel, but that's where it ends. I just used the two cars that he used and did something just about completely different because I can't do what he does anyway. Not even close, but it gave me the idea to do this. I had the casting, so. So I used these two castings and parts off of another three castings to make this one casting. So. <clears throat> I guess we might as well show what it is. So it's like a Volkswagen dragster, I guess you could say it is. Um, came out pretty cool. So first thing I had to do was cut this. Of course, I disassembled both of them. This got cut off. Um, and this got cut off, of course, for the back of the car. And then I left the rest of this casting the way it was, except for the base. And then in this casting, I cut off this back piece right here and got rid of the cab. I didn't need the cab. I just wanted the back end of it and did this base. So I took these two bases and made this base. It's not the best looking base, not the cleanest, but it worked. Um... It was a lot of cutting. You can see where the front end of that is and where the back end of that is. And then I just used the middle section of this to make that skinny part to go in between. But it works. The wheels got in there. Um, and she rolls. Not the best. She hangs up a little bit here and there. But it does roll. So that's what we did with these two castings. I didn't use the interior at all for this. No interior parts for that at all. I did take the interior for this. Cut it in half. And just use the front seats and use any of the back part and use the glass of course so and then the tires the engine and these two exhaust pipes here came off of a muscle machines truck um, i believe it was a ford it had three engines in it two in the back one in the front so i bought it just for using it for parts so that's what i got it for so Put that engine in there. It's sitting on a piece of styrene that I wrapped in um, the coffee f container, the foil, when you peel that back to get to the coffee, and it made it look like a diamond plate. And I glued that in there, rested the engine on there. This spoiler came off of a little funny car, a Hot Wheels funny car. Actually, I do have that. Hold on. All right. I completely forgot to bring this car over. I do have this one. I had a duplicate of it. Came off this funny car. So I took this uh, spoiler and I took that guy and used him. Cut off that where the steering wheel is and got him to sit perfectly in there. I don't know how good you can see it, but he's got the golf colors on with a black helmet. You really can't see. There he is. He's right in there. And he's glued right into the front seat sitting in there. So that worked out perfect. Never put a guy in a car before. So, And then I figured I'd make it a dual engine because this was where the other wheels went. So I set another engine in there. 
and I used these pipes off of one of those metal machines things you get at big lots, the, that truck with the huge tires on it. I cut off the exhaust pipes off of there and glued it underneath. So it's a double engine dragster car, one in the back and one in the mid. Mid and rear engine dragster car. Um, paint came out great. Very happy with that. It's all rattle can. Um, masking came out perfect the first shot which I was very surprised. Headlights are eh. Did them like three or four times. I got sick of doing them. I just couldn't get them to come out around. I'm not good at doing that yet. I got to practice. But the Volkswagen symbol, the other ones came out pretty good. Used some of the Diecast Misfits stickers that VW Replicas made, or WW Replicas made. It was awesome. So I got a couple of them on there. I got some Golf stickers on there since we got the Golf Colors. Just two. Didn't go crazy with the decals. It doesn't need it. Uh, what else do we do with this? Um, the axles are handmade in here, as you can see. And I wanted them to stick out past the, the tires. I was going to put big, huge fenders and everything on, but I didn't. It didn't look good. It was covering the door up and everything. So I just let them stick out to do something different instead of always tucking them in. And if, these were the ones from the, like I said, the um, Muscle Machines car. I think that's about it. I mean, there's a lot of detail work, a lot of hand work, a lot of body work. You can see the lines there. That's where they were put together. I got to get a little bit better at making that smoother, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, I got a license plate on it too. Put that on. And we did the tail lights and the headlights and all that good stuff. But I think she's awesome. Something different, something cool. One of a kind. I like it. I think she came out great. It was three different paint steps to get three different masking steps to get the colors, and they all came out perfect the first shot. I was very happy for that. So my masking is getting a little bit better. That was always my weak spot. Um, get the turntable out, I guess, for a minute here, and let it spin around there for a minute. Um, so I hope you guys like the build. Um, hold on. Okay, like I was saying, I hope you guys enjoy the build um, and the video. Make sure to watch everybody else's um, channels. I'm sure you know who everybody is by now. Put a lot of videos and everything out, so pretty sure everybody's doing it. <clears throat> so so we will be hitting tomorrow. I can't wait to see what everybody else did. Um, but I think mine came out good. I'm very happy with it. Really like it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, thanks again for all the comments and the likes. Take care and have a great night.